So in the golf swing, your lead hand, it rolls and it cocks up and down. Cocks like a gun. Rolls, cocks. Your trail hand only does one thing. It bends. That's all that does. And they are the command posts of the golf swing. That is absolutely right. The hands are the command post of the golf swing. So whatever your club head is doing has to be instructed through the hands. So if we can educate the hands, how we educate the hands, I'm going to show you today. If we can educate the hands, we can then educate the club head in relation to where it's supposed to be. We can educate where the club head's supposed to lag to. What does the club head lag to? Does it lag to the hands? No. The club head does not lag to the hands, the club head lags to the base of the plane line. Sounds awkward, even sounds a little bit tricky perhaps, but if this is the base of the swing plane, so if I'm hitting a draw into out, I've moved my plane to the right, and my club head lags to that plane line, not to the hands, but today we're going to educate those hands. Before we start, make sure you've subscribed to the channel. It's just one click of a button. Also click the thumbs up button, also the bell notification button, and check out my website, eurekagolfswing.com. Thank you. Homer Kelly's golfing machine. The absolute bible of golf. Very hard to read, but we're going to be quick with this. I'll try my best not to bore you until we get to the actual content of the video we're about to create. So, here we go. 6D1, first. At the top, the urge to throw the club head from the wrists always disregards the hands. The urge to throw the club head from the wrists always disregards the hands. That's from the top of the golf swing. So that's basically throwing the club head away. Carefully study 5 0, 7 19 and 10 20. We'll just go to 5 0. Bear with me, this is really good stuff. Here we go, 5 0. The hands are the command post for all feel processing. Woo. As the stroke proceeds, they dictate to the feet as certainly as they dictate to the club. No negative off course feedback can get to or from the club head except through the hands. So no negativity gets to the club head except whatever the hands are doing. Regardless of the amount of technical know-how and practice, uneducated hands can nullify all and never even be suspected. Whew. Monitor all three elements of the club by the way of the hands, never directly. The hands are much easier to monitor than the club head because they travel so much more even and slower. So what Mr. Kelly's saying there is it's easier to control the hands than it is to control the club head because they move more evenly and more slowly. That makes complete sense to me. If you feel your game isn't reflecting your understanding of alignments, stop monitoring the club face instead of your hands. Forget about what the club face is actually doing. Monitor the hands that's making that happen. For this club face to be out of alignment, I've had to move my hand. Question, Steve. Yes, I'm ready for your question. I know what your question is. How do I monitor my hands in the golf swing? Well, here we go. If you picked up a cup for a drink of coffee, for example, you think nothing of it. Okay, you pick your cup up and you drink it. Your hand grips the cup, does its thing, job done. If you try and pick up that cup and drink that coffee with your eyes closed, very different game. You'll need a napkin for a start. <laughs> but yeah, when the eyes are closed, then we have to think about how that hand's actually going to work. Homer Kelly continues. Hitting golf balls with your eyes closed. Not hitting golf balls with your eyes closed, but swinging with your eyes closed to feel the club head lagging to the plane line and understanding where club face would, face would be because of the action the hands have used or the positions and alignments in which the hands have got themselves into. Because your eyes must be on the ball, they cannot watch the club. Okay. So swing the club with your eyes closed until you realise how consciousness of the club, per se, is so disruptive as compared with the consciousness of the hands. Learn to swing the hands, monitor the hands. That's in brackets. Sorry, that's in capitals. Swing the hands, monitor the hands. Okay, just read that once more. So swing the club with your eyes closed until you realise how consciousness of the club per se is so disruptive as compared to consciousness of the hands. So, I swing with my eyes closed. Focusing my consciousness on the club head. Okay, so there's a lot of movement there. I can feel it opens on the way back. So left wrist rolls. I've still got my eyes closed. Right wrist bends. I can feel that on the way back. I can feel on the way through that my left wrist or the club head passes the hands. That's, that's all wrong. I need to feel how the hands work. Okay, so 
eyes closed eyes closed what I feel so I'm just going to go back and through through impact which if my eyes were open I would see a blur of the club head now that blur of the club head is a good thing but perhaps being focused too much on that is maybe not a good thing so I'm focusing now I'm going to close my eyes now eyes are closed and what do I feel what should I feel I should feel the right wrist bend I'm open my eyes right wrist bend <coughs> left wrist rolls I should feel that and then again through impact the right wrist will bend forward so it'll extend through impact so therefore the left wrist rolls so I'm feeling impact through my hands okay so now when I feel this monitoring the hands <coughs> excuse me I feel a lot less club head passing hands so I'm here I can feel how my left wrist supinates how the back of the left hand is now going to go up the plane so back of left hand going up the plane whereas before it felt when I monitored the club head it felt as though left wrist bent which we know it doesn't do I felt a bit more of that and less of this you can actually feel that if you're aware of how the hands work initially the command post of the golf swing so if you're aware of how those work then you can ensure they're in the correct position by monitoring them fully with eyes closed and I completely get what Homer Kelly's saying there you know we we're too we're too controlling of this you know I know that makes contact with the golf ball but what's holding on to this the clamps the hands so closed eyes right wrist bends left wrist rolls I can feel that now in feeling that I also am aware of the body working I can feel the hands I can feel that's an in to out path so I can feel where my hands are going in relation to club head and plane line so I can feel when I'm doing that I feel as though my hands are from here I've got my eyes closed to here there 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 I can feel the bent right wrist the impact of there to the angle between forearm and club shaft I can feel that because of the wrist so purely monitoring the hands that's brilliant and I really like that <coughs> it makes complete sense and as Homer Kelly says they, the hands or the clamps or the command post they move more evenly and more slowly so there's more time to control them than there is focusing all your attention on the club head which is travelling at I mean anywhere between 50 and 110 miles per hour eyes closed yeah feeling where they're going to go great eyes open now feeling that that's really good that does make sense educating the hands rather than focusing on the club face just going to say that one more time so this is golf machine five zero um, if you feel your game isn't reflecting your understanding of alignment so your game's not it's not reflecting what you already know and where you feel as though you're already going to be or where you should be stop monitoring the club face instead of your hands stop monitoring the club face focus on your hands and then continues on um, on to page 64 because your eyes must be on the ball they cannot watch the club okay so we're trying to monitor the club head but we're not even watching the club because our eyes are on the golf ball so and as I mentioned, that's travelling a lot quicker. So swing the club with your eyes closed until you realise how consciousness of the club per se is so destructive as compared with the consciousness of the hands. So I could feel that when I had my eyes closed and I was focusing on club head, I could feel how my left wrist through impact didn't roll up the plane line. It bent more and it shouldn't bend. It's only supposed to roll and cock. So I could feel a little bit of that going on. So probably an early release as Homer talks about throwing from the wrists at the top. Um, and then he mentions learn to swing with the hands monitor the hands and if I quickly go back to 6D1 first at the top at the top the urge to throw the club from the wrist which is what I was feeling through impact always disregards the hands so at impact I was feeling the left wrist bend which means from the top I've maybe been a little bit wristy club head throw out and let the club head pass the hands then I close my eyes and focus on hands, that disappears. The club then lags to the plane line 
instead of lagging to my hands. It's genius. I hope that wasn't too complicated for you. It is quite a complicated book, The Golfing Machine. Bryson DeChambeau builds his golf swing around that book, so obviously not the easiest read in the world. So I broke it down a little bit there, but basically at the end of the day, monitor the hands. Monitor the hands with your eyes closed. Also monitor the club head with your eyes closed so you can feel the difference of monitoring something that travels very fast compared to something that travels a lot more evenly and a lot more slowly. So therefore, obviously easier to control your golf swing. While you're doing that, subscribe to this channel. Please subscribe to this channel. We need 100,000 subscribers and we're getting very, very close. When we get there, if we get there, will we have a party? Party in Scotland? Clinic, golf clinic perhaps? Anyway, let me know. Leave comments below and I will see you in my next video.